Hey, hey guys, how you doing today? Figured I'd uh, share this one with you. What we got here is an uh, a truck pulling an empty trailer. That's 36 feet of trailer back there, flatbed, gooseneck. I wanted to show you what you need to, what you should expect out of your truck. There's something special about this truck for some darn reason. This truck just outperforms the rest of them. But as far as power goes, gas mileage, they're about the same. I should have reset one of the trips, but I reset that fuel, the average fuel, once I left town. And maintaining the speed that I'm maintaining, I'm, I'm pushing my luck here. I checked on GPS, this truck is one, one mile off, so me cruising at 65 on cruise really means 64. I really don't want to cross that 64 line, so this is as fast as I could go on this truck right now, so don't ask why I'm not going any faster. Um, but maintaining, you know, anywhere between 62 and 65 speed, I was able to get 13.7 for the last 100 and some change. Um, that's pretty standard. I am getting a little bit of headwind. I don't know if you guys can tell on the on the weeds there. It's, it's the weeds are leaning towards us. So yeah. Um, something else that I wanted to show is the tire pressure. There you go. The tire pressure I like to maintain on the fronts are about. Well, it looks like the guys try to square these off all the way across, meaning all the way around. But usually I'd like to see about 75 up front and 80 in the rear when it's cold. Uh, clearly, you know, it's 63 degrees outside. It's fairly warm. So as me driving down the interstate, the tires warm up, and there you have it. You know, you got 87, 86 up front. And then 86, 87, <coughs> 86, 87 in the rear. So what I there's one line I don't like to cross in same 90s. Once it starts getting into 90s, those tires need to get bled off. It's just a rule of thumb, just the way I feel comfortable. Uh, there's no science behind it besides uh, physics. You know, that tire is intended for 80 PSI cold. So 90, you know, it's red zone, I think, is about 95 in my book. But let's just say I like to call it, you know, start bleeding them off once they hit 90. So some guys ask me, a lot of my drivers ask me, hey, for a max, what do you want to see when it gets really hot? I tell them 90. So if guys out, you know, the east coast and comes into the, goes down the south, it's quite the temperature difference, and they ask all the time. Well, quite frequently. So yeah, man, I hope I answered some of your boys' questions um, in regards to gas mileage and fuel pressure. Those are hand-to-hand. -hand. <laughs> Since now, as far as this truck, you know, it's been serving us well. Nothing crazy. This guy got comfortable. He got a last-minute call from his paralegal, and he had to go in and take care of some stuff. And then he had an appointment. He has an appointment tomorrow morning, so I had to go. Excuse me. It's been a long day for me. I had to go in and, uh, well, I'll hop in and make her happen. So, yeah. That's it, boys. As always, may the Lord bless you. May y'all have a mighty fine day. Ciao, bye.